Hello creators, US Studios here. Today we cover, as I promised in last part, the new ABC pickup method. Also we cover, animation states, how to integrate them in ABC, and I show a fix for the animation clipping. This clipping, isn't problem what a lot of people have, and they think it's a bug. But it's a simple unity thing. Also I will explain why this happens. But today we look also on the new features, what comes with the new update, what is now on store. Enough talked, let's get started. Now we're getting started, with the pickup manager, to complete the last part. Now where do we find the manager anyway? To do this, we click on our player. In the inspector on the right, we open the ability manager. When the window is open, we click on load at the top, and in the inspector on modify weapon. On the left, we choose the last category. The weapon pickup slash drop. Here we click on create pickup. Now ABC ask us, if we want to create a prefab, or not. Let's create one, and save it to a place you like. After that, you can close all windows for now. The prefab, is also added to our scene now. Let's click on it, and in the inspector, we now have our pickup manager. Let's click on it, to open them. In this window, we have now all settings, related to this pickup. Here we set, the pickup mode to import. Under them, you can select the weapon you want to import. And here, the first important setting, check the modification in your game type. This is required to import the right settings. Under them, you have also a delay setting. But for this delay, it's good to know that it has, effect on your animation as well. So be sure to find, a good harmony between. On the right side, we need to uncheck, the equip on pickup option. Because otherwise, you have the weapon in hand, but the item is not equipped. This option is then useful, when you don't use inventory. Like for an FPS for example. Under them, you might be see, that the checkboxes are not visible. For that move the window simple like that. Now you can see it a bit better. Back to the settings, you see an option for unequip, the current weapon, but before you pick up. Let this option checked when you have more than one weapon set up. Or disable it when you have only one weapon. In the next section, you only need to choose your input key. On the right side, you can adjust your collider, if you need. But it has a good setup by default. Under them, we find now, the first incredible powerful and epic feature, of the new update. The action list. It's now possible, to fire actions directly, inside ABC. Now we use them directly, and begin with the magic. First we add the action, toggle weapon. Here we set the target, to invoker, and the mechanic to disable. After that, we write the name of the weapon, inside the empty field. As a reminder, be sure you write, not your item name. You need to write the weapon name from ABC. After that, we add the item action. Here we only choose our ABC weapon item. Now I will show you, the other categories as well. Let's go, in the animation category. Here, you have all you need, for set up your pickup animation. You can set a mask, your clip, or even your own parameter. In the UI category, you find anything about your text or UI, what pops up when you walk onto your pickup. Here you can set your text object. Change the text directly, or even some nice other features, like text rotates with the camera. When you are done, let's go back into our scene. Here we place, our pickup a bit to our needs, and also we need to bring the text, a bit in position. Otherwise, it's a bit too high to see it. When all is set up, as you like. Here is the result in action. Let's 
start with the locomotion states. First we need to create two of them. To do this, we right click in our project, create, game creator, characters, locomotion state. I will give them names as well. With the first one selected, you have now something, what's called override controller, in your inspector. Here we select this icon, this will keep the state fixed in our inspector. Now we need some animations. I will use the ones, I made for ABC. To find them, we go in ABC, prefabs, animation. Now let's go into idle, and because I have, a one handed sword as weapon, I will choose the sword idle. Once found, drag it into the empty idle field. You can of course fill anything up to your needs, but for show, I will stay only with the idle. Let's do the same with the other state. In this one we drag a normal idle in. Once you have all adjusted to your needs, we go to the next step. To integrate now our states into ABC, we first open our weapon settings. Once open, we go on the left to the animation overrides category. Here you have to enable the GC state integration. Under them, you see now two new empty fields one for when the weapon is equipped, and one for weapon is not equipped. Here we now drag the new created states in. And here is the result. And now, we see what I talked about in the beginning of the video. The animations begin to clip up and down, player jumps useless around, and many more, what basically looks like a Windows 95 game. And I understand, of course, that a lot of people think that's not usable, animations are crap, what a weird bug, and many more. Now I will show and also explain why this happens with my animations, and of course, how to fix them easily. So let's jump to the next step. Let me first explain why this happens. The first reason is simple. Unity's masking system. With the masking system you have a default offset. And by default, is this offset in use? to say your character what position, have the feats, the arms, and so on. But, my animations have its own setup, saved directly to the clips. So let me show you an example, from my animation project. Here we have, just a 5 minute two handed attack. But the direction, is totally wrong. And this is what we need to tell Unity. ABC is using, the default Unity masking system. So let's go back and find the idle animation we used in the first state. With the clip selected, let's take a quick look at the settings. Here we set body orientation to original and we make a small offset for the height. 0.08 should be enough. But one more thing is important here. The number can change depending on your model. There are many reasons for this. For example the size, or how your model is rigged. If we now go into play mode, we can see that the feet, are correctly on the floor, with the equip idle. But not with the unequipped. You can see, the difference there. So let's do the same, for the unequipped idle. To fix that the equip idle is directly played, we only need to activate the idle mode. Because this is a new project, I forgot to activate it. So let's do that quickly.
As you can see now, it's getting a lot better. The next step is to open our abilities. To do that, we open our weapon, but this time we open modify abilities. Here we need to do the same with the attack animations. Simply click on the first attack and go over to the animation section. Here you go, in the second category. There you can see the animation. Just click on them to find it fast in your project. Now do the settings. Be sure to change on some of that clips from feet to original. Once done, you have now this amazing result. As next step, we need to do that with the equip and unequip animation. This will fix this little jump between. For that we opened our weapon, one more time. Once open, we go in the animation category. Here you find the equipped animations, for your current weapon. Important here, any weapon, has a different one. Change here the settings as well. The next step is the bonus part. Game Creator has one very important feature, not by default. Root Motion. There's an script in action on the HUD. But this was very old, I think over two years. So I made a new and updated integration for that. You can find this integration in the ABC Discord on the tutorial channel. Link in description. When you have it, simply drag it in your project and import it. This will bring you a new script and an adjusted action for control of the mouse well. But how does this now work? And what exactly brings that? I show you now, step by step. First, we need to go to our player animator. For that, open the player and select character. In the inspector you now have your animator component and in root motion option as well. But, this option doesn't work by default. So to fix that, we drag Enable Root Notion onto the Add Component button. Now you see, the option has changed. Before we activate them now, let me show the current attack and movement again. Here you see that the player just stays at the place. Let's bring some life in. First we activate it here. The second option brings some improvement in, so let's check them as well. That's all. Now hear the result, before and after. Of course, you can adjust all of these a lot more to your needs. So this was it, for this part of the tutorial guys. I hope you learned something new, and it helps all of you. We see us in next part. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. US Studios, signing out.